Okay, so for this project, we're going to start with the wall. And uh, we're going to mix for this, uh, for the wall, we're going to mix Naples yellow with a bit of raw umber and white. So, we, you know, we're, what we're doing is we're toning down the Naples yellow and uh, we're giving it a little bit more of a brownish color and then we'll add white. All right, let's do that. Get some Naples yellow. I'm going to try a different Naples yellow today. Than the usual one. I'm use usually I I, I use I'm using uh, the Ser brand. Oh, they're inexpensive. I think I don't remember how much I paid for this, but I think it was a good price, and the color is good. Oh, it's a pretty color. Yeah, and I'm mm -hmm. gonna put a tiny bit of brown umber. And white. Any white you have is fine. Now there's another color that is pretty, very nice color, and it's called parchment. Oh, I've got that. You've got parchment. Oh, it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. So if you use parchment, because it has a little bit of a gray green in it. Mm -hmm. A nice color so if you use that with the naples yellow it will give you a really nice color now if you don't have parchment that's okay just naples yellow and a bit of uh, raw umber and and white Gonna, I think that's a good size brush that would give me good yeah that would be fine I have my water a little bit a little bit off Raw umber, not much, because we don't we don't want to lose that fresh look. Um, but I just want to kind of make it less yellow. Um, I'm I'm using a little bit of parchment, or you can use just just white. Don't go too light yet, because we need some areas should be a little bit darker. Push it in a bit where over, a little bit over where the, the uh, greenery is going to be. This time what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put the shadow over um, after, shadow of the greenery. We're going to glaze the shadow over the wall. Ooh, trying not to lose the bird is not an easy thing. A 
This is a nice project. It's not going to be looking uh, perfect, the first layer, that's okay. But you see how the dark underneath is make, giving it a bit of texture. Or actually uh, yeah, a little bit of a darkness in there, which is great. First layer it might look uh, might look a little bit messy, but that's okay. No problem. We would be putting another layer anyway. And it shouldn't look, actually, you know, it, it shouldn't look too perfect. Okay. Stucco? Pardon? Like stucco? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm going to change my Nipos yellow. This is not a good, uh, it's not good. The one I'm using. The one you just bought? Oh dear, that's too bad. <laughs> I'll use it. I'll use it for something else. Okay, let's change it. And use the good quality one. It's easier. This is a big difference between Windsor and Newton. And let's see the difference in in uh let's see if it makes a difference. Because you see how how I'm getting, I'm not getting a, I mean, it's easy, it's not easy to, you know, to, to mix and to spread on the uh, canvas. So let's see, let's see if this one, let's see how this so one works. So it's not the color, it's the consistency? It's, it's the, it's the paint. Yes, it's the quality. Yeah. Yeah. It's the paint. Mine's looking like that too, and I'm using my, my regular Nipples Yellows. <laughs> <laughs> let's see maybe 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 it's going to happen again but i can tell usually i can tell when i'm i am putting a color on if um it's kind of gluey or if it spreads like butter you know it's like so nice and creamy if it's gluey this is gluey this is gluey it's not let's see Could be because of the darker background that you're using now. Could be, could be, yep. But um, usually a good quality paint 
reacts differently. Let's see. This. But yep. when Western and Milton looks brighter, even on the camera, True. much brighter. True. It is. It is. Let's take a bit of uh, raw amber and tone it down a bit. You're right. But I think, I think it will, yeah, it's a different, it's this, you're right. There's a big difference in color. That's good. I like it when we, when we experiment. Okay. Let's try. All right. In small areas, it's okay. Let's, let's do this. Oh, yeah. No, there's a big difference. Yeah, for sure. It needs a little bit more of... Um, raw umber a little bit more um to tone it down oh i like this it's more it's more like I, i'm adding a little bit more raw umber i like this it's really nice next layer will be lighter Yeah, definitely the other one is not, uh, not, um, Dull. no, it's not good. It's a good price. But... You never know till you try, right? Yeah. That's okay. I'll use it for something else. Now I need that yellowish color because we're going to use a little bit more of the white for the trim, like a whitish color. So that, that kind of soft yellow looks good. I'm going to go a little bit darker. Now with raw umber, I mean we could use as well um, for the dark parts um, ultramarine violet, but I like the I like the raw umber. Now what I do after when it's completely dry and I need to start like working on the, um, I start working on the uh, bush or the flowers, 
I put my tracing paper on again. I'll show you in a minute. And I'll kind of trace it again. And it's easy because I know I can see where everything is. I'll, I'll, I'll do it in a minute so you can see. Oh God, yeah, a big difference in the quality of the paint. The flowers are going to overlap with the paint. Yeah. Could I just hear for a few are you leaving the top on purpose to do something different? Right here? Yeah. yeah. This is where the flowers are going to be hanging. Okay, so you're not putting any background. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, we could do this as well, um, Georgian, like just a little bit like this, go in between. Okay. So it's sure. not like a, a kind of a choppy. Okay. Because we can put Thank the flowers you. over that. I just need, you know, I just kind of like the darkness of this so we can have depth and then we'll build it up with the we're going to build it up with the um, color of the uh, greens. Okay. What if you already did it all yellow? <laughs> doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We can we can put you can you can start the green like put dark green a bit there and then do it again. It's not it's it doesn't matter. Honestly, it's the same. Well, good. Same same. So if I know there's there's going to be a pot, let's say this pot, I would darken behind it because I know it's going to be a little bit of darker in there. I would darken a bit behind it.
All right, let, let, let's uh, sh should let it dry. And I'm going to pause. OK, so now we're going to put some color at the bottom. So I have here my raw umber and ultramarine violet and a bit of white or titanium buff, whatever you have. As long as you can see, don't go too, too light. You know, you should be able to see a little bit of that um, purple in there. We are going to put some grass and some um, beautiful petals from the flowers. A lot, a lot of those petals on the floor. But still, let's prepare it. You said ultramarine violet? Yeah. Ultramarine violet, yeah. Yeah. Then we, we can easily put over it if we want um, grass over here instead of, which I think it will look really nice. There's no grass in there, but I think grass will look really nice, at least in this area here, this right there. We'll create kind of a, a patch here that has green. It would look nicer than uh, just all concrete, the whole thing, or stone. Right, okay, so after we do this, the wall is dry. I'm going to wait for you to put this color down here. Okay, so this is the second layer, and honestly, I'm putting um, in this, it's the same, same color like before, and I'm maybe putting a little bit more of the white in there, but there is raw umber, Naples yellow, and white, but because it looks lighter because we are painting over a painted uh, layer. So the first layer was over dark, so it dries darker, but now we're painting over a, a, a lighter uh, background and it might look a little bit uh, lighter or, it, you know, uh, uh, different from the first layer. It does for sure look lighter, which is fine. doesn't matter what you get. Um, the focal point is not the wall. The focal point is the plant itself and the flowers, also the door. But usually what I try to do when I'm highlighting this way is at least keep the bottom part of the wall a little bit darker. So I'm adding a tiny bit more of the brown at the bottom, raw umber. Just a tiny bit. It just gives it a much more interesting look if the bottom part is a little bit darker. We're going to be glazing eventually uh, the shadow of the plant on the wall. And that's why I said we're gonna do a little bit, uh, you know, we're gonna make it a little bit different this time because we're going to glaze the shadow on the wall and you see it's uh, it's going to look really good. All right, so this one here as well. Another coat. We need another coat. First one is not that great.
I'm going to glaze more, or I mean, I'm going to paint more the areas where it, they're clo it's closer to the door. So the highlighted areas are going to be the ones that are closer to the wall. And then when you go further away, keep it a bit darker. Keep the color, the paint color is a little bit darker. You know, you highlight around the focal point, mostly, and the focal point itself. So the door with the plants, I would say, are the focal point. I'm not going to go all the way down. I'm just going to keep the highlights right here. It's going to dry darker. doesn't have to look perfect it's a it's a wall and it should have a bit of imperfection in it it looks much nicer oh that's a good work too good to hear <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to use that a lot <laughs> yeah me too hmm. okay, what kind of a wall is that well it's got some imperfection <laughs> I did that on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> they always turn out, don't they, somehow? It will fine. It'll be fine. It will look great. Okay, good, good. Here we go. See it's dry it's drying darker already. So I'm just gonna give it a bit of a kind of a dry brush here and there. And we're good. Oh I love this color. It's good. That's good. Going to look really nice with the color of the door and the pink. How was Margaret with the um, dog bite? All right, I'm gonna. I, oh, she's 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 better. She's better. I'm gonna pause. Okay, so for the door or whatever is around the door, uh, the trim, we're gonna use raw umber and ultramarine violet with white so it doesn't have to be dark could be you could go a little bit lighter it's going to dry darker anyway and uh, it's not going to be white white anyway by the time we're done all right this is good this will yeah this will this will work let's see Yeah. You know, it's a good idea to put masking tape. Yes. Or rulers. Easier. Easier, yes. It's, it's masking. Much easier. Although we're going to, you know, be mask, uh, painting the side right next to the column, um, the same color, but still, still, it's it's a good idea to mask. Faster.
All right, so whatever is underneath this awning has to be darker. So I'm just going to put a little bit more of the ultramarine violet and raw umber. All of this part, this part here, is underneath the awning. So the awning is going to be casting a shadow over it, and that will push it back inside. Columns are, in, you know, closer to us. But still, not too far out. So once I start highlighting, I'm going to be highlighting somewhere, somewhere maybe from here down. But this this will come after because this is this is going to dry darker anyway. All of these colors I'm putting right now are going to dry really dark. So I can at that point. Highlight it a little bit more. Wow, it's really dark. Okay, again, I'm going to darken a little bit at this point. It's underneath. This is down here at the bottom. So it's going to, do, it's going to look a little bit darker. First layer always looks messy. What else do we have? Um, we have actually all of this part here. It's all the same color.
I'm going to change my brush to a round and then put the detail. Not really a kind of a, not a lot of detail, just a bit. You know what? I'm going to put a bit of white so we can see it. A little bit more white. So whatever I do on one part on the left, I do the same thing on the right. So I start with this one here. I'm doing this. I'm going to do that. It's easier. Another one here. Now I'm going to darken a little bit the color I'm using. Same, same colors. So I'm using a little bit more raw umber and um, ultramarine. And I'm just going to put the inside of that. It doesn't, it, it's really hard to see right now. But once we start highlighting, it will look good. I just want to cover the brown. And then I'll work on the uh, detail later on. And we're going to let it dry. And then we'll do, we can put the door color. Or we can do the door out later, next, uh, next week. Okay. So we put most of the colors, first layer. And uh, wall is, I'm sure it's done. So next week we'll work on the uh, putting some greens. We'll work on the door and the trims of the door. And we'll take it from there. It's looking really nice.